So let's talk about if statements in Python. If statements give you a lot of power to make decisions in your functions or your scripts. So let's just start off with a simple case. Let's say that we've got some int and we'll set that to 210. We can ask if some int is greater than 200, well, let's just print, uh, and I'm going to incorporate what's called an f string right here. Some int is greater than 200. If I run this, we can see that 210 is greater than 200. And maybe I'll go ahead and get some input from the user. I'll say enter an int. And remember, this is a string. Input returns a string. So I need to cast this to an integer. If I run this, enter an int, and I put in 190, then we don't see anything, right? Because this condition was false. If the condition is false, then what's inside does not run. So we could do this. We could put another if statement. We could say, if some int is greater than, let's say, 150, then we could just print. OK, we'll run this again. It says, enter an int. I put in 190. 190 is greater than 150. So this is sort of a solution. And we'll look at a potentially better solution. Let's say, let's change this. Let's put another if statement in here for 100 and go ahead and run this. Now, if I put in 190, we get two outputs, right? 190 is greater than 150. 190 is greater than 100. Now, if that's the behavior we want, that's fine. But notice that because these if statements are all sort of independent of each other. They are each going to check, right? So first we check on line 3. 190 is not greater than 200. And then we check on line 6. It is greater than 150, and we print. Then we check on line 9. It is greater than 100, so we print. 